We introduce a pre-computed search trees technique that can efficiently animate characters navigating in a complex environment. We focus on how to make the runtime speed for synthesizing these motions as efficient as possible, thereby allowing us to interactively animate a large number of characters. Our system can be used for interactive simulations of many characters in games or virtual reality environments. The key idea is that we pre-compute a tree of possible character motions, which we use repeatedly during runtime to search for the solution path. Here is an overview of our technique. In the pre-computation phase, we first take the finite state machine of motion clips and build a search tree of possible character motions. Here are some example motion clips. We can continue to build the search tree up to a certain depth level. We also pre-compute two grid maps over the region covered by the tree. There is an environment grid map and a goal grid map. There are two steps in the runtime phase. First, we translate and rotate the environment so that the starting position and orientation match those of the tree's root node. Secondly, the goal grid cell identifies a list of possible paths reaching the goal. We trace each possible path back toward the root to find the best path. This path is converted to motion by concatenating the corresponding motion clips. In general, the goal is not within the region covered by the tree. We first run a course level bitmap planner to generate a course path. Note that this planner ignores the special obstacles that the character may duck under or jump over. The course path is used to select sub-goals that are used for repeated iterations of the runtime path finding phase. For each iteration, parts of the solution path are saved, and the next iteration restarts at the end of the path taken. Our method provides up to 4,000 times speed up over real time. The runtime search itself takes an average of 8 microseconds to synthesize each frame of motion. We demonstrate the runtime speed of our system with an interactive viewer. For the one character viewer, the full solution path of about 500 frames is updated continuously about 25 times per second. This environment is 70 by 70 meters. It takes about 6 milliseconds to generate the whole path. Our approach can globally plan through environments with local minima, in contrast to crowd animation systems that use local policy methods. For the multiple character viewer, we execute a runtime path finding phase to generate the next partial path only after we start rendering the first frame from the previous partial path. The green and blue spheres show the start and end of the most recently planned subpath. We use the same pre-computed tree for each character. The characters respond in real time to user changes to the environment. If the user moves an obstacle toward a subpath that has already been generated, the characters may fail to adapt to it. Here we move the goal positions of all the characters together. Small gray spheres represent the most recently generated course path. The red sphere is the most recently used sub-goal. This animation runs at 22 frames per second at a screen resolution of 1280 by 960. Each iteration of the runtime pathfinding phase takes an average of 1.5 milliseconds. Here is a result for a large and complex environment. Here, the user can point and shoot an obstacle at the characters. The characters are able to move away in advance. We can synthesize up to 150 characters responding to user changes in real time. The runtime phase takes 9 milliseconds on average.